welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and if you are a return subscriber thank you for coming back so as you can probably read from the title of this video this video is going to be a spend the weekend with me um i'm sorry me is running in the back um but this video i'm starting this video on saturday because it's weekend and it's saturday morning it's around 10 30 and i'm going to do some stuff of course take you guys with me and also take you guys with me with what i do tomorrow but for now i'm struggling because i need to leave the house to go do some things first thing walk me yeah? and like i wore this i don't know if you guys can see this but like i have this adidas top on and i haven't worn this in so long but the only reason i put it on is because i have also i'm also wearing the adidas leggings and i thought you know maybe it will be cute to like match um but i don't know if i'm feeling it like i feel like wait i don't know i feel like this is too short right now so i'm thinking about maybe wearing this one because it is a little i mean it's not that long either like i think i'm gonna still change and wear this one this is the Primark top that I got in a couple of videos back that I showed you guys in the haul. I think I'm going to change and wear this instead because, you know, this, I mean, this is cute, but it's like, it's like too short. Okay, let me go change and I'll be right back. So I changed it and I'm wearing this one right now and it is a little longer. So, I mean, that's great. So don't mind the straps in the back because i'm going to be wearing a cardigan over this but basically this is what it looks like and i feel like this is so much better because you know i feel like the other one was just a little bit too much before i leave i don't want to do my makeup today because my ear hurts really bad this one it started hurting yesterday i don't know why i haven't done anything to it um but it hurts like on the inside and i don't know why that is so yeah that is fucked up and it hurt throughout the whole night too i couldn't sleep that well which is also not great so i'm really not in the mood to to do my makeup i just want to fill in my brows a little bit i just um I just set my brows with the soap brow thingy from Essence that I showed you guys in another video. Let me show you guys again so you can see what it looks like. It is this one. Um, I'm not a fan of it. Not that I don't like it, but I don't dislike it either. It's just like, I don't know. I don't use it. I don't use it only unless I really like have to. And right now I really have to because um, my brow pencil that I always use, it's the Maybelline one. I ran out of it. And now I don't have anything, any other brow pencils to draw my brows on it. And I have to use powder, which I don't like at all. I really do not like using powders. But you know, it is what it is. So because I'm using powders and um, then I have to set my brows before I do them. Otherwise, the powder is going to look weird. So yeah, that is why I'm using it. But the powder that I'm using is actually an eyeshadow by Kiko Milano. And it is in the color 05. This is what it looks like. How do I open this? So this is what a powder looks like. And I wet it with the MAC Prep and Prime. And yeah, so I'm going to do the other brow off camera, clean them up with some concealer and all that stuff, and then come back so we can head out. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Um, I'm just making sure that I have everything that I need in my bag. I have some lights. Everything is my keys. What do you guys think of my new keychain? Of course, it's a sausage dog, so to remind me of Mia. So cute. 
Okay, so my keys are in here, a mask, um, some alcohol. I also have this alcohol. This is better. Um, my wallet. What else? Uh, this really handy. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this is like if you go to the ATM and you need to pull your card out. I have long nails, so I cannot grab it. But with this, you hold the card like this and you close this and then you just pull it out. Lifesaver. I have a ton of them just because, you know, I need them. Uh, what else do I need? I feel like I'm missing something. I have my headphones in the back. Oh, I wore this perfume. I don't know if anybody cares, but I wore this perfume today. It's the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. And I'm going to take this one in my bag. It is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. Just to like touch up during the day. So I have that in there. I'm also going to take this with me. This is a bag. So when you open it, it becomes a bag. Just so if I buy something, I have somewhere to put it in. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to take this because I'm going to a store because I bought a dress for my mom yesterday and it didn't fit. Or when I tried it on, on myself, I noticed that it wouldn't fit her. And I need to take this back. So I have the receipt in here. So I'm going to take this back. I have my bag right here. What else do I need? What else do I need? So I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm just going to put my shoes on um get me ready in her harness and everything and then we can get going the weather is really nice outside today i really like it it's not super warm like it's um i think it's 23 today 23 degrees outside which is nice because these couple of days it has been 27 and 28 and that is really warm and I was sweating <laughs> and Mia was walking like when I would take her for walks she would be walking with her tongue outside like she had it super hot so I'm happy that the weather is like not so warm today but then again I hope it doesn't rain because yesterday um, evening it started raining and stuff so I hope it doesn't rain today because I do have plans to go eat at, at some new food spot today. So I hope that like the weather cooperates with that. So, you know, she found her spot. Good so mommy. Good so mi amor. I'm just going to walk with her a little bit. And then um, I'm going to the store to return the dress that I told you guys about. I came in the store to uh, exchange the dress. Oh my god, this is so cute. And of course, Mia's with me. Um, okay, this is really cute. What do you guys think of this dress? That is so cute, right? This is so cute. And these sets for the summer.
okay so um i want to show you guys what i bought for my mom um but first before i do that i just want to you know vent a little bit let out my frustration because i'm so so irritated like it's crazy how mad i am um because i went with mia like you guys saw in the video i went with mia we went to the store to buy things for my mom if you don't know this or if you haven't been keeping up with my channel or anything i take my dog everywhere she's my everything i take her everywhere and she's a very well behaved dog like she isn't a dog that's gonna be barking at people like growling doing anything so that is why i take her because people like seeing her in stores all the stores that i go to people like oh that's a cute doggy everyone wants to greet her so it's not like i'm being obnoxious and taking my dog everywhere like that is not what this is um and also i always ask permission before i go in a store with her because you know you can say no like it's your store you can say no so i always ask like is she allowed to come in do i have to pick her up can she walk on the leash like what is going on so i always ask permission i always am polite about it you know because i'd like to think i'm a nice human being but people really piss me off when they are rude for no reason because like what happened is i went with in this store with mia and I didn't vlog in the store because the store was super, super quiet. Super, super quiet. There were only like two, three people in there. And if I would to vlog, if I was to vlog, like I would be the only one talking and everyone would hear me and I was a little embarrassed. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. So I said, you know, I'm not gonna do anything. I was walking with Mia and I go to the store almost every other day just to, you know, walk around, buy something small, like a sock or some gloves or a cup like i like going in the store and i seen this um worker like this employee that works there and she was walking around and she was looking at me and i didn't think anything of it you know because maybe just she's just looking like i don't give a damn you know what i'm saying like i really don't give a fuck so i was walking buying stuff for my mom and there she wanted some colorful socks so i was looking at the socks and everything and then um i said you know what i think i have everything that i need so i'm just going to go ahead and pay so i was walking to the counter and i seen some um, room sprays so they're basically like air fresheners for your room kind of or like anyways besides the point so i seen some room sprays i said you know what i might as well i might as well just buy some because i already have some but you know it's good to have like different variations so i wanted to buy some Tell me why I'm standing there looking at the room sprays. I'm not holding her. She's just like standing there on the leash. And this lady that was looking at me all the way, like all around the store, she comes up to me, the worker. She was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what? Like, what am I doing? And she's like, what is she doing? And she points at me and I'm like, what is she doing? Like, I'm still so confused because first you ask me what am I doing and then you ask me what is she doing and I still don't know what none of us are doing so what the fuck is going on so I look at Mia and I'm like what like I, I don't get it and at first I was like I hope she's not gonna be annoying with me about Mia being in the store because I know good and well that Mia is allowed in the store I come here every single week so why would she like come now and be weird about it so I was like you know what she was like yeah um is she peeing and i'm like peeing i turn around i see like this little circle like this little yellow circle with p and i'm like oh my god like mia has never done that in her whole life like i've had her for months now she's almost one year old and she's never done that she never pees in the house like if she has to hold it she will hold it till the next day like she she I, i've actually tried you guys know this i've vlogged about this multiple times i have peeing pads for her she never uses them she only goes in grass she she can't go potty anywhere else that is not in grass so she will not just stand in a store and pee and also you guys seen in this vlog that i just took me a potty before i went to the store so it was like 20 minutes before that she just peed so it's like it was mind-boggling to me. I was like, 
what? And she's like, it's right there. And I was like, okay, I, I, I will clean it up then. Like, I'm so confused. Like, she's never done this, but I didn't want to like go ahead and explain her all that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna clean it up. So she was standing looking at me. She was like, that's nasty. And I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch from? Because first of all, now you're starting to piss me off. Because if my dog really peed in the store, I know that it's not, you know, allowed and that is gross and whatever. And I already told you that I'm going to clean it up. So like, what are you being rude for? Like, what is what is the purpose of that? And she kept looking at me like with a stank face and it really annoyed me. And I didn't say anything. Then I asked her, I was like, do you have some like tissue paper that I can clean this up with? And I still I'm being nice. Like, and I was still being nice. And she was like, what? And oh my God, like, ugh, I just want to. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. Um, I remembered that I have tissue paper in my bag and wipes and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. So she was like, <laughs> and she walked away, which bothered me even more because I really don't understand why she was so rude about it. Like, really, I don't understand why she was rude about it. So I walked away. Um, no, I'm, I'm not lying. She walked away and I grabbed the tissue paper in my bag and the wipes and stuff and I started cleaning it up. I cleaned it up and I had it like, I, I don't know if you guys can, like I had the paper in my hand of course i folded it and stuff because you know what i don't want to walk around and pee all on the paper like this so i folded it and i was walking around with it um and i said you know what i'm just gonna get hell out of the store so i just went to the register to pay and leave the cashier was also super rude so i feel like today is my day to encounter rude people that i want to punch in the throat so she was super rude for no reason like no actual reason so i'm like what the fuck is y'all's problem today so anyway i just ignored it i was like you know what i'm just gonna get the hell of the store and because she was rude the cashier i didn't want to ask like do you have a a um do you have somewhere that I can throw this away, you know? I didn't ask her because she was being so rude. So I didn't want to be like, hey, like, can I ask you something? Do you have somewhere I can throw this? You know, I, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it in the bag and throw it out when I get home. So that's what I did. I put it in the bag and I put my stuff in there, everything. And of course, I wrapped it around in the paper in some plastic because I have the plastic bags that are me as poop bags. So I wrapped it in a poop bag so it doesn't like interfere with anything in the bag, like all the clothes and stuff that I bought. And then I took it home. So as I'm walking home and stuff, I'm thinking like, like that is really bothering me that how she treated me for no actual reason. And like, why would Mia pee? Like she never does that. And it, it it was like a lot for me to process in such a small period of time. So tell me why I get home, right? I get home and wait, let me show you guys. Tell me why I get home and I pull open the bag. I was like, you know what? That is weird that it, there was pee on the ground. It was weird that there was pee on the ground and I didn't even see her peeing because, you know, anyway. Tell me why this is the paper, right? This is the paper. And it's nasty because their floors are nasty. Tell me why I opened this up. And I was like, you know, it's nasty, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna smell this and see if it smells like pee. Tell me why I smell this and this is fucking soap. It's fucking soap. Yeah. That was my little venting moment because I'm really irritated. Like, I really hate when people do that like really hate it i used to work in stores too i know sometimes it's really stressful it, it's everything like i get all of that because i was in that position too but i was never rude like that to customers for no reason like if a customer were rude to me like i had customers that threw things at me i had one time a customer threw a, like a ball like a ball for kids to play with threw the ball at my head you know and i still wasn't being a total bitch about it like this so for you to act like this with customers for no reason because i wasn't in there talking loud i wasn't doing anything for you to act like that for no reason 
and no 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 that doesn't straight right to me and i'm definitely going back tomorrow that was my little venting moment let me show you guys the um the socks that i got in the stupid ass store oh and by the way if you guys care the store is called zeman so they're really rude in there um i just bought some random socks my mom loves these type of socks that are really colorful personally i don't but she does so i got her this one and I got her this one and this one it has like little palm trees on it super cute and this uh, pink one and then this gray one with like little flamingos super cute and this one is the last one super cute so those were the socks that I got her and then in the other store I got her some dresses and stuff but I'm gonna show you guys that later because I'm really, my mood is like, ugh. And also I was supposed to have um, a makeup class tomorrow but the client from the makeup class just texted me and said that she, like her work asked her to come in tomorrow and she wants to know if we can reschedule and of course i'm not going to be difficult about it of course we can reschedule like i don't mind at all so if she can go and make that money of course so i'm gonna say i'm gonna answer her now and say yes like okay it's okay we can reschedule and um so yeah I, i'm not sure if i'm gonna go buy that food from the food truck anymore today because like i told you guys my mood is like I just want to sit in this couch and watch some TV and chill with my dog because people really be trying me and my head is not right every day. Um, but I'm gonna stay home and chill, I think. And yeah, I will let you know. I will let you guys know what I do. I don't think it will be much though, but you know, I will let you guys know. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know what I'm up to. To be quite honest, my anger has turned into, I don't know, it's not sadness, like I'm not sad. It's just a weird feeling, like, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. That is the feeling. I'm disappointed with myself, which is... That is what I'm feeling. I don't even know if I'm gonna insert this clip right now because I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just thinking and thinking out loud basically, like saying everything that's on my mind. But I kind of, I just had a phone call with my mom and I told her everything that happened. And she was like, why do you keep letting people do that? Like you always let people treat you badly and you don't react in the situation. And then afterwards you get really mad. And I really don't know why I do that. Like, she is right. Like, I always do that. Like, always, always, always with everything. Which is why, like, if you've seen my story times, like, it is a pattern in my behavior that I always do that. Like, someone could do something horrible and in the moment, I won't react. And then after the fact, I would get all mad and then I want to go back and do all this and it gets worse because if i do that like in some occasions i do do that and i go back and tell you everything and it just blows up which makes it worse so i don't know i don't know so now i'm just sitting here thinking like why am i like this like why do i not like react in the moment and now my mom is like go back to the store you need to go back now you need to go back and tell that lady like blah 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 and like my mood is so ruined now like oh my mood is so ruined that if i was to go back there right now i would just stand there looking at her like like i don't know i don't know why i'm like this I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm really trying to figure it out, but I don't know. So, yeah. I'm also not going to the food truck today that I told you guys about because, like I said, a billion, bajillion, trillion times, 
my mood is fucked so i'm just going to eat something because i just ordered some mcdonald's so it should be getting here shortly and i'm going to watch some tv i'm looking for a new series on netflix to watch it is like really good and it has a lot of episodes because series that are short like the one um who kills sarah like that is such a good tv series or program whatever you want to call it in my opinion like i loved it but the thing about it is because it is so short and the seasons are so short like the second season just came out and i finished it the same day so it's like i want something that has a lot of episodes like i don't know and i can watch almost anything as long as it's like entertaining and you know it keeps you interested and it's binge watch worthy basically i can just watch about anything because like my favorite series of all time is friends like that's my favorite tv program i've watched it a couple of times because like it never gets old and it's just the best and like i've watched so many tv series and programs and films and i just want to find a new one that has like a lot of episodes like i also finished green leaf how to get away with murder blacklist um i can't even think right now what was the one again oh yeah of course i watched money heist that money heist is supposed to be coming out soon are you guys watching that like are you guys into those type of things let me know in the comments please what do you guys watch on netflix because i feel like there's nothing on netflix like i know there's a lot of things on netflix but somehow i still can't find anything to watch on netflix i don't know it's weird i just keep scrolling and i keep seeing the same things like i don't know if i'm not looking correctly so if you guys are watching something that you feel like hey hillary would like this please leave it in the comments it doesn't matter if it's like a film or a movie or whatever it is documentary uh, whatever leave it in the comments doesn't matter the genre just let me know what you guys are watching because i'm really looking to find like something new and exciting and fun or i don't know but anyway this part is getting way too long because i just wanted to tell you guys how i'm feeling you know, I feel like you guys and I were friends and I feel really good when I'm talking to you guys because I feel like we can really connect. And the thing that I like the most is that I feel like I'm not the only one that feels how I feel because someone out there that is watching can probably relate. I mean, I feel like this part, a lot of people won't be able to relate because I feel like, especially in my culture at least, a lot of people are really outspoken and like, out there when it comes to those type of things so if someone says something to them they'd be like ready to say everything and like yell and do all this like for example that is how my mom is like if you will say something like this she's ready to snap and don't get me wrong she's not a rude person at all she's the sweetest person but she doesn't take any shit and she's like ready to like switch up from zero to 100 quick and that is something that I don't know why I don't have that. Like, I don't switch. I just let you walk all over me. And then I realize it after. And I'm like, oh no, that was wrong. Now I'm mad. Why did you do me like that? Now I want to go back and like see why you did that. I don't know. But anyway, so um, my eye is itching and my ear hurts so bad still. Um... And I'm hungry because we didn't eat anything today because I was supposed to go to the food truck. But you know, I guess I'm gonna go tomorrow because yeah, my makeup class got canceled. So yeah, I'm sorry if this is kind of boring. But like I said, I just feel like talking to you guys makes me feel really good. I feel like, I don't know. I know you guys are not here right now. But you are though. Like, I feel like we can connect. And I feel like we're friends, like, you guys are my friends, and we can talk, and other people can relate, and feel like, oh yeah, I go through that too, or oh yeah, maybe some people have advice, I don't know. I don't know, I just don't want to bore you guys, but I feel like we're friends, and that's why I want to talk to you guys. But anyway, so yeah, let me stop, and I'm gonna just wait on my food, and 
yeah i'm just gonna try to find something on netflix and i will catch up with you guys whenever i decide to film again <laughs> so i changed my hair i put it in this low bun because my head started hurting but anyways my food just came so i have one bag and then this other bag uh, let's see the first bag so this is first in here i have my actual chicken nuggets let me show you guys so i have my chicken nuggets and my fries um, i ordered two fries because i'm really really hungry and i also got my drink and um, i also got an ice cream because why not you know why not they give you this little like i don't know if these are almonds or what they are but i don't like those i just eat it plain and it comes with a little spoon so i'm definitely going to eat this later i'm just going to put it in the fridge now or in the freezer i should say and eat this first and then eat my ice cream later oh this is the best this is the best so i just got this package in the mail and i was like oh awesome you know i love getting packages that i order and then i opened it and it's different packages in here so i was like ah! you know i feel like it's a gift from me to me because of course i bought these like i don't know what they are because i ordered a lot of stuff but i know that i bought them so you know anyway so let's open this small one first this is what it looks like I'm cover my address this is what the packaging looks like let me see how i can okay oh they fell out oh oh my god yes i'm so excited about this okay so these let me show you guys what they look like this is what they look like you can probably tell already what they are but if you don't know they are basically what what are these called i don't know what the name is but basically it's like the perfume bottle like a i don't know i will put the official name mia why are you girl what is going on she's like all up on me like scratching me like scratching my arm look at this i don't know what she wants this is not food this is other stuff <clears throat> anyway so this is basically you can put your perfumes in here like if you're going out or something so you can keep this in your bag like of course if you want to go out you don't want to go out with like the whole perfume bottle in your bag because of course you do spray it at home before you leave but like most of us don't want to carry a big ass perfume bottle in our bag and like you guys seen me today that i use the um Victoria's Secret bombshell but it's because that I have put a body spray that I can take it but not all perfumes have body, um, body sprays so you can't always do that so I bought two of these I bought one in gold and one in black I took this one out to show you guys so basically it has this thing at the bottom and you stick this on the nozzle of the perfume and you fill this up with your favorite perfume and then it has this little spritz thing so the spray and you can just you know chip 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 and this is super small like compared to my finger see how small this is so you can just keep this in your bag in your whatever and when you go out you can just you know touch up and i think i think that is so nice and so so handy mia is playing with her bone in the back okay so anyway let's open this one up oh my god i love Okay, these are so cute, but I cannot show you guys these yet. I cannot show you guys these yet. Um, but you will definitely see them really soon. Um, but yeah, I cannot show you guys just yet what they are. I'm sorry. Hey guys, good morning. So today is the next day um today i have planned to go to the food truck but to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna do that i don't know if i'm gonna do it i have so much stuff to get done today um i have class this week i have a lot of stuff that i have to do for an upcoming project that i'm going to be telling you guys about 
in a couple of weeks so yeah i don't think going to the food truck is going to be what i do today um let me just turn around because mia is like i'm walking mia by the way i'm walking mia and um yeah i don't think going to the food truck is like the best thing for me to do today also do you guys see this pimple like what is going on like child i don't know anyway so today i have planned to go to a store um i want to go buy something for mia and um it's like a cooling mat basically it's like a like a mat and um it gets cold so when you sleep on it or sit on it or do whatever touch it you don't feel as hot and because it is getting hotter i thought i might get it for mia because it's also inexpensive so i thought you know why not and those type of things it's better to get them like now because if not you're not gonna get them when it gets like really hot like you know so i thought maybe i want to get it for mia i have my hair in this little braid just to be able to walk her and not have my hair all over my face and yes she is doing her thing for sure and yeah, so I'm just going to walk with her for about 35 minutes because I've been walking with her for 10 minutes already. So I'm gonna just keep walking a little bit and then go home and, and maybe go to the store right now. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. So yeah. Hey guys, so I came home, I just took a shower. Um, I didn't put any makeup on, but I do have some girl chill. I did put my serum and my moisturizer on because I didn't want my face to be dry. I put my hair in this low pony and um, I did my brows. I did them differently this time because my I ran out of my eyebrow pencil, so I did them with powder. Let me know what you guys think about that. But uh, right now I'm just standing in my window to get a good lighting and to tell you guys that I'm going to head out now. I'm going to go buy the stuff that I told you guys about for Mia. And yeah, so let's go do that. Um, also, I'm wearing this Adidas shirt that you guys saw on my Instagram, I think. And I have some Adidas leggings on and I have my pink oswego shoes but i will show you guys when i get outside because it's really messy in here because mia throws everything around so yeah anyways let's go to the store i'm in the store now with mia and we're looking for the stuff but it's kind of crowded in here so i think i'm going to talk to you guys when i get home because it's really like a little crowded i'm walking around to like avoid people but um, I'm just going to look for the stuff that I came for with my baby and then I will talk to you guys once I get home and show you like what I bought and stuff. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I just came back from the store and I want to show you guys what I got. Like I said in the video, it was a little crowded in there. I didn't want to like start filming and stuff because you know, people are uncomfortable with you filming them and I'm uncomfortable with filming people and there would be there would have been no way for me to avoid filming other people. So it was just a lot. So anyway, let me show you guys what I got. This is heavy, okay? This is what I got, the first thing that I got. Um, it is the cooling mat that I told you guys about that I wanted to buy for Mia. Let me take the receipt so I can tell you guys how much it was. Um, the cooling mat was 750 
and it says that it's for large dogs but like there wasn't any other size so this will have to do it's 60 by 80 in centimeters and you just put this on the ground and it's supposed to be like cool it feels cool and it's supposed to like be like a cooling off system for your dog or whatever so we're going to try that in a minute I also got her some treats I got her these ones from Lucky Bites these are dog fillets um, I got her these one are chicken oh no I'm lying these are um, these are dog also they are chewy sticks they look like this then I got her these ones. These are chicken and duck. So like I was saying before the camera just cut off, um, I got her these ones that are chicken and duck. And then I also got her this one that is just plain chicken. These are chicken strips. Um, she loves these. I also got her some bed wipes. They look like this. Um, they are for me to clean her paws when she like plays in the backyard and then she needs to come in I need to clean her paws the treats were um, 150 160 199 199 um, and the bath wipes were 90 cents a pack so 180 for both of them then I also got this this is for myself um, it's a picnic plate fleece. I don't know what this will look like yet, but it has like this little black part. So it's supposed to be like the part that you put in the ground. And this is what it looks like. These are the measurements. So yeah, I'm excited about it because like you guys said in the video, when I took her for a walk this morning, I just wanted to sit down in the grass and it was cool and the breeze was nice and there wasn't anyone around. So it was like a vibe. So I thought, you know, I need a mat because I can't just be sitting around in grass. So that's why I got this. And then the last thing that I got, oh, I also got this for me to put on my food when I cook and stuff. And then I also got this. Now this is going to be a little ghetto, but I got this. This is supposed to be for, it says storage box, but this is supposed to be for you to put like, I don't know what you call them, but like supplies, like like screws and stuff. You're supposed to put those type of things in here. And I'm not gonna do that because I don't have any supplies. Let's start there. But I bought this because I wanted to buy something like really flat and this is really flat. So I wanted to buy something really flat to put my, um, what do you wanna put in this? What do I want to put in this? Oh my god. Bracelets. I want to put bracelets. So I was looking for the longest time for a new like storage box for my bracelets. Because the one that I have right now, it is full with earrings, um, rings, and um, watches. And I wanted to buy a, another one, especially for my anklets and my bracelets. So I feel like this would be good. You know, it has five different compartments. So I feel like this would be good. Of course, I would take this off. And maybe I would even put like some rhinestones and stuff to make it look a little bit more cute and look like a supplies box, you know? So that's going to definitely be like a little DIY moment in the future. And yeah, that is everything that I got. So right now I'm going to, first of all, order some food because I'm hungry AF. Then I'm also going to um, open up this mat for Mia and see how she likes it. And um, yeah, so let's do that and order some food and then sit and do all the stuff that I need to do. And I will show you guys in a minute what I'm eating and how she likes the mat and everything. So let's do that this is how it's going with the mat um i've opened it up a couple of times and showed her that she needs to sleep on it but me is like nope i want to break it so yeah <laughs> i don't think oh my god girl chill mia has like zero chill on god so I really don't know if she's ever gonna like sleep on it. I'm sure that is not gonna happen today because 
she took a nap she woke up i was like oh maybe she was tired and she didn't want to sleep on it so when she wakes up she can you know sleep on it chill and realize that it's cool and you know that it cools her body off but she was like nope it's time to play with it and try to break it so it's all wet on you girl i'm just trying to show the people i'm trying to show the people and right here so yeah i don't think this <laughs> i don't think this is gonna work i feel like i've wasted the 750 thank god it wasn't expensive because you know she's having the time of her life though and this is really heavy so she likes that it's like a challenge look how she scratched it like look at this she scratched it all over trying to break it and like open it up and it's not working so yeah definitely will keep transposing i also ate already but i posted my food so you guys already know what i had and now i'm just working on some school stuff before i finish off with the day hey guys so um as you can see i'm in the park where i walk with mia um and the reason why i'm sitting here and i'm vlogging today today is tuesday so it's it shouldn't even be part of the vlog um but what happened is that i forgot to end this vlog so um, i was at home i was about to edit this vlog i just cooked myself something and i was like Oh my god, I didn't close off the vlog. I don't have any footage to say like goodbye. So so yeah, this is what this video is. Um I'm just sitting here by myself or not by myself, it's me. Um I even I don't even know why I came out here. But I bought this plate yesterday in the store. You guys saw me buy it that I showed you guys. So I decided why not use it today so I brought some things with me this is not like a picnic video at all okay my phone keeps falling and I keep putting it back on and it keeps falling so excuse me for that and then the angle keeps changing um, but anyways so I'm sitting here with me I just took a shower moisturized my body and my face put my hair in this bun oh my god there's old people in bows that's so cute and now I'm just sitting here. I cooked myself some food. I have fries with chicken wings. Um, I got this fake cola. If you live in the Netherlands, then you know what this is. I got that. And I have a little chocolate bar right here. What else did I bring? Oh, I also brought some cookies. I love these. Um, I have some wipes. Because, you know, after I eat, I need to clean my hands. I have some alcohol in there. I have this for Mia. You guys aren't even seeing my face. I brought this for Mia so she can drink. And I have food and treats in here. And I have my journal so I can write some thoughts and ideas. And, you know, some things that I want to do. Oh my god, the alarm. Mia, <laughs> so yeah like i was saying um i'm just chilling now and i'm going to just eat my food and just lay here for a second before i head home i just felt like so alone and i don't know i just wanted to come out here and do nothing so yeah that's exactly what i'm doing so anyways guys thank you for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and also make sure to stay connected with me on social media. I will leave my platforms on the screen. Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. And what else do I need to say? I don't think there's anyone else. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.